Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. If I could show you a way how to drill straight, beautiful holes in even your classiest projects without using a commercial drill guide or a drill press, would you be interested? I thought so. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. A common task every maker, every woodworker is going to have is drilling holes in material. Now, if you've done a, let's say, a beautiful project like a workbench and you're needing to drill holes in it that are straight, perpendicular, uh, let's say for bench dogs, and you got to get it right, how do you put something like that in a drill press? No, that's not possible. And how do you, uh, without using a commercial drill guide, get those holes straight? Well, there's a simple device that I saw recently. Now, I wish I could say this is my idea, but it's not. I don't remember where I saw it. So if you're out there and this is your idea or you know who came up with it, won't you tell us in the comments below or in the comments section and let us know so I can give credit. But meanwhile, this is the idea. This is a simple block system using a 45 degree angle off of both edges intersecting the middle at 90 on just a simple piece of wood. This is about an inch and a quarter thick, maybe an inch and, uh, oh, an inch and a half, inch and three quarter wide, eight inches long. And on this end, you have a V block, which now allows you to put the drill bit straight up and down as you drill. And on this side, now this is set up vertically, so let's say you're using a Forstner bit and you've got the whole body of the Forstner bit and you've already set the drill with its center spur directly where you need it. Now you can bring this guide up to it and keep it perpendicular. All right, as you can see here, I've laid out an intersecting 45, creating a 90 degree corner. I started in from the edges a little bit to leave a little bit more beef, if you will, on the corners here to make the tool more uh, durable. So we're going to saw that out. Now on the other end, you'll see I did the same thing, but in the vertical axis where there is a 45 from both sides, intersecting at 90, leaving the edge beefy, and we're going to cut this out on the underside. Then we'll put this tool to work and see how it works. All right, let's get to work. All right, let's go ahead and put it to work. Let's see how this, this works here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just a 3 8 brad point drill. Let's suppose that you were doing a bench top and you needed some hold downs or some threaded inserts or that sort of thing. And you wanted to make sure this was absolutely perpendicular, not doing this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll place, first of all, here's the hole right there. I'm gonna just put the tip, place where you want the drill to begin with then bring the guide up to it and then encounter both sides. This stops you from going wonky like this. When you just bring it, it automatically trues it up and then go ahead and start and keep holding that. And you can see it's keeping me very clear. So let's just put that in there and see what you get as far as perpendicularity. Look at there. But now when you go to use Forstner type of bits, um, there's another problem. If I put this and I encountered, let's suppose that's my starting point, and I'm ready to drill this, and I want to make sure I'm not rocking around, if I use that end and I put it there, that's going to do no good, right? Where I need to guide is the shaft. So what I'm going to do is rotate that around and pull it up to there, and now Make sure I'm in against it, and as you can see, I can go straight down and not have a problem. It's going to be very vertical, and this is a simple little handheld tool that really cost me nothing with scrap. I do suggest that you build it out of some kind of hardwood. This happens to be, it looks like uh, either a cherry or uh, some kind of, I'm pretty sure it's cherry just by the way it burned, but uh, a kind of a hardwood is going to last a lot longer. Uh, and if you'll notice, I rounded over the edges on it just so it's nice to the touch. It's not sharp. 
And if you wanted to, you could certainly varnish this. You could put a hole in it, hang it somewhere. You can customize it and make it yours. This is a great little tool. Makes your life a lot easier. Removes the stress and you end up with great results. If you have a technique, a tip, a tool like this that you'd like to share with your fellow viewer family members, won't you do so in the comments below? We'll make sure to get it out there and give you cred for it. If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it? And better yet, please subscribe to our channel. And when you do, ring the bell, because when you do, you'll get notified whenever a new video episode comes out. Hey, thanks for watching today. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay with DirtFarmerJay.com.